Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Mahmoud I'm 15 years old and alhamdulillah I finished memorizing the Quran by heart In relation to the student Mahmoud Hamzi his father first brought him to Dar al-Quran Karim at Dar al-Abbas uh, a number of years ago and in all honesty in the beginning it was a little bit of a challenge uh, considering this is something that uh, as teachers here in Dar al-Quran we had never uh, undertaken before um, teaching a child uh, or a student who is unable to read uh, from the Mus'haf directly. Well I can't see the words of the Quran but I can't describe actually what I can see but like when I see in the Quran it just looks like all dots everywhere like I can't actually see letters or words or anything. Initially he brought his um, braille mushaf and we started uh, looking at how we could possibly uh, start with his memorization with that. And then we tried another strategy and that was to learn based on listening. I memorized the Quran by listening and um, alhamdulillah it was really easy. I tried Mahr al Ma'akli and the reason why I chose him is because like his recitation is like not like it's perfect for memorization. It's not really slow and I don't know but his voice is really good and that's why um, I can memorize really good with him. <laughs> وأبرئ الأكمه والأبرص وأحيي الموتى بإذن الله وأنبئكم بما تأكلون وما تدخرون في بيوتكم إن في ذلك لآية لكم إن كنتم مؤمنين حفظه للقرآن الكريم حفظ محمود للقرآن الكريم ينبهنا إلى حقيقة وهي أن العمى ليس عمى الأبصار ولكنه عمل بصائر وأن الإنسان إذا شرح الله صدره وفتح بصيرته فإنه لا يضره أن يكون فاقدا للبصر بل قد تتهيأ له من أسباب العلم ومن أسباب المعرفة ومن أسباب الحفظ لكتاب الله ومن أسباب الرفعة في الدنيا والآخرة ما لا يتهيأ للكثير من الذين فتح الله أبصارهم ولكنه والعياذ بالله أصم بصائرهم in, in the beginning, for the teachers involved, it was more of a, um, a bit of an experiment and we weren't too sure as to whether how this will go, or whether he will succeed in, uh, in this pursuit or not. But uh, mashallah, with the dedication of his uh, teacher and the dedication of Mahmoud himself and the encouragement and dedication of his parents, uh, he has attained a goal uh, that uh, is to be envied by every Muslim. The, the last day when I, when I finished the Qur'an, I felt like really happy and like relieved that I, that I actually finished the Qur'an and I didn't know if all the hard work that I put in, like all the effort, getting up early, going to school at 7 o'clock and I didn't know if it was going to pay off at the end but alhamdulillah it did. And he's not the first to have ever memorized the Qur'an in this way. In fact, one of the greatest scholars of the Ummah uh, of Qiraat, known as Imam al-Shatibi, who was from Andalusia in Granada, uh, memorized the whole Qur'an. He became a Qari and he was visually impaired as well. And uh, he is in, an inspiration for every other individual, for every other student who wishes uh, to memorize the Qur'an. That, and there is no such thing as a barrier from without or that there is no such thing as something that um, forces me not to memorize the Quran but any barrier and any challenge can be overcome so long as a person has that desire that genuine desire from within to memorize the Quran first and foremost and then he's aided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in doing that so ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aspire and uh, strive and inshallah Allah will grant you what you wish and what you strive for. Wa jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.